Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Margaret Being Margaret. It is Saturday morning, what, the 5th? And I was just starting to read comments about episode 2 on the build, and I am so surprised at how many of our women friends are actually enjoying it. I always find this fascinating because I love all the... Did you hear that pump just go on? I love all the intricacies of, of the building process. And I'm thrilled that you are too. I'll try to be a little better at getting more clips of it because the last couple of days of it moving along, it's so hard because with Squish, I have to keep one eye on her while I'm trying to film too. So I haven't gotten nearly as much as I think maybe I should. This week they have finished filling it all in, back filling it, it looks so good. And Monday, everything starts. They're going to start closing it in. Yesterday, quarter of seven in the morning, all the lumber came. And luckily the guys from the dig were here because there's so few places to put it. So they all came up with a plan and we're surrounded either by wood or by trenches because they also dug a trench from the existing well and the new well to the house because they're going to finally connect the new well this week. Also on Monday, they're putting the, um, they're cutting the hole in from the existing basement to the new foundation. They'll put the door, which will lead from one room into my room downstairs. They're gonna cover it with plywood, but it's gonna make it a little cooler, which for me, you know, I'd sleep outside if I could. So this is so interesting. It's happening like bing, 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 bing. And I know that this is the fastest part of the process. Um, at, from this step on, you know, every time they do something, they'll have to stop, have it inspected, and then go on. Hopefully that goes well too. Today, I am going to my sister Bernie's house. Most of the family will be there, which is why I look semi-good. I'm trying to look like I look semi-good. You know what? On my Facebook feed today, there is a memory of 12 years ago, I don't know, that my, um, I went to my niece's baby shower and I had just tried on this morning the tunic that I wore that day, wondering if I fit it, wondering if I fit in it yet. It did. It's too warm today to wear it or I would. <sighs> nice things all the way around. But today, wow, left field, right field, shiny, shiny. I could just go off at any moment. The family's getting together because my brother's son, now you remember my brother committed suicide in 2012. He was 48, so he would, been, would have been 60 this summer. His son got married a couple weeks ago. None of my brother's family was there. Uh, we weren't invited, it was a small wedding but his son reached out and asked us if we would all get together. So Bernie is having a quasi reception party for them with just our family. She's doing a lot of the work. I will pitch in and I'm going to go and pick up Chick-fil-A tenders because I know all the kids will like that. So it's not a dress up affair. It's not any big deal. It's um, out in the garage, but it'll be fun to see everybody. So that's, my plans for today. Next week will be more of the same. That's okay with me. I find that my anticipation is starting to get in the way. It's interfering with normal life. I'm not sleeping as well. Every night I fall asleep by decorating the house in my head and thinking where I'm going to put things and it's the only way I can go to sleep. But it takes a long time and it's not good for my sleep. And I'm, my breathing is changing. Some of that is the fall weather, but a lot of it is just anticipation, not anxiety. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not feeling anxious about this, except to get it done. And I, you know, me with no patience, I'm doing an okay job. I don't know if anybody else would think that way. I did a couple weeks ago go out and buy my living room furniture. 
I'm getting new stuff for the new house. I'm not spending a lot, but I'm making choices for my everlasting home here. And I completely out of left field chose things I never, never thought I would. A couple of, like a month or so ago, I was looking at um, house.com, you know, the H-O-U-Z-Z, -Z, is it? And there was an article on a, a flat in England that they had redone, and it was beautiful. And it was for a retired older woman. And the couches were mauve. That is not a choice I would ever go near. I loved it. And I loved it for a couple reasons. They had a very, very soft, deeper green in bookcases around it. And the combination was striking. Yeah, I did it. That's what I bought. I've got to find the cabinets I want. I just want, um, like I had in Dighton, where I had those blue cabinets, the kitchen cabinets along a wall. I want those on the back wall of my living room for storage. And the couch will be, you know, three feet in front of that um, with its back to it. So I want it for there. And in the kitchen, there's going to be a spot for me to put a coffee bar. And it will be perfect for my Keurig and my um, teapot. And now I'll do the same green. I'll put up all the colors because my, you remember the floors are going to be very light. I'll make a a Pinterest board for you if I get around to it. Um, but I, I'm just really looking forward to this. This is going to be completely different. A couple of things. Remember, the floor is very light. It's a hickory oak. Very light. If I said that enough, the kitchen cabinets are white. Not a stack white, a soft white. Then I'll have the green, um, very soft green on those couple of accent cabinets, countertops. I don't want them to make a statement. I don't want them to stand out, but I don't want them to be blah. I'll that for now on it down. I, and it, I want for Michael. I don't want to waste a lot of money. And Formica now is beautiful. I would almost go like I did in Dighton with the painted wood effect in the Formica, but it didn't, it wasn't quite strong enough to give that effect. So I don't want a marbly look. I want it very calm, soothing. So look up Formica in your spare time and come up with a couple of ideas for me. I was looking even maybe something with a very, very, very faint green veining in it. Not sure they have anything like that, but I thought that might like tie that whole big room together. I don't know. And that has to be decided within another month or so. My life with Squish is perfect. I took her out Friday for the first time to a creamery. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big place around here that is um, a restaurant, sandwiches, stuff like that, and ice cream. We went out for lunch, our first date. It was so wonderful. I'm so happy. And then top my whole week off. There's a couple from Dighton that I adore. I've been friends with them for maybe eight years now. Just met through Facebook and then I've gotten to know them and see them now and then. And Chris, the gentleman of this couple, reminds me so much of my brother. So he has, he's my quasi brother now. And um, I'm so happy when I see him. Yesterday, I got a text. Now, I haven't seen them since I, well, I've seen them once. I, I stopped over once this summer, but they haven't been here, of course. It's way out of the way. Got a text yesterday saying, are you home? And is Squish napping? And I wrote yes to both. And if you're in this neighborhood, please, please, please stop. 
and he texted back, I'm in the driveway. <laughs> so um, Patty wasn't with him, but he stayed for an hour and a half or so. And I showed him around and we sat and talked. Oh, it is so wonderful to have somebody in my life like that. He makes me laugh. He makes me crazy. He threatens me sometimes. Um, he has a little bit too much knowledge of my life, Chris. And I got to show off the plans and he was so complimentary. So that was just the frosting on my, my fall so far. <sighs> Thank you, Chris. And Patty, I hope you can be with him next time. So that was my best surprise of the week. <sighs> I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A and pick up 75 pieces of chicken and try not to eat them all on the way to the party this afternoon. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for getting me to 10,000 subscribers, which brings up, check your subscriptions, share, like, comment, whatever you have to do. Thanks so much. You all have a wonderful week and let's be kind. Take care.